Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Robin from Robin's Nest. And today we are going to do another checkerboard, okay? We did a checkerboard not long ago and we did it with the Mecca powder, but today we are going to use resin, okay? So, thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and hitting the notification button also too. It helps my channel and I really appreciate it. And one other thing I think you need to know is this tutorial was not edited. I want you to know that I did make mistakes, but I did not want to take it out because I want you to see how you can make a mistake, but yet you can fix it. So I fixed all my mistakes, but I wanted you to see the mistakes that I made also, okay? So come on, climb up in my nest and let's get this checkerboard started, okay? Thanks. Hello, 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 all of my crafters and craftettes. It's your girl Robin from Robin's Nest. And today we're going to just jump right in. We're going to make this beautiful checker set. And I'm showing you that I've used already my Deco Marker Metallic Gold to outline all of the squares on the mold so that I won't have to do any of that once the checkerboard is cured. This is my Metallic Gold deco marking tool and you have to shake it up really really good because you want your gold to be so brilliant and radiant on it when you put it on okay so it's pretty tedious um, you want to just outline each one of your squares with it and you have to take your time too because sometimes um, the the marker um, liquid will spill out of your um, uh, pen so you just have to um, just take your time and periodically you have to shake it up real good again pump it so that some of it will come back down to um, the point and as you see some of it just came down and it spilled over inside of the square so with my hefty alcohol and my uh, q-tip I'm going to spritz my q-tip with the alcohol and I'm going to go in and I'm going to clean that up yes and now I'm going to just proceed to um, draw in my lines and with this pen with this marker rather you don't want to keep going over your um, square because once it dries and you go over again sometimes it lifts up your marker off of the, um, the silicone so you just want to take short little strokes and um, try to um, keep it real smooth, okay? And you have to keep pumping it too so that the liquid will flow good. Just wipe off the excess, okay? And um, keep it nice and clean. And as you see, I've already done the majority of the squares. So I just um, didn't want to bore you with doing the whole thing on... Um, on camera and as you see I am doing a voiceover I didn't do any talking while I'm doing this because I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything okay and this video is also about your mistakes and your do's and don'ts sometimes you know a lot of folks edit that stuff out when they make mistakes and it makes it look like the project was really smooth and nothing went wrong like what just went wrong just now um, I'm wiping and cleaning that out um, you're going to see some mistakes on here that I did, and um, but I'm also going to show you how you can fix your mistakes, okay? I made some horrible mistakes in here, but I kept going, and I figured out how to resolve it and still got a beautiful project out of it, and you'll see that on in this video. So it's not going to be about all beautiful, beautiful uh, clean, and 
uh, you know, easy going because yes, we do make mistakes and I like being transparent and I like showing you what to do and what not to do because I did it, you will not be doing it because you're gonna see just how I made the mistakes, okay? That's why I'm showing it to you. So yeah, I'm finishing this up right now and um, believe it or not, this is going to actually come off on the resin. Um, I love this this uh, technique of putting something pretty on my checkerboard. So now that I've done that, I'm going to decide which uh, glitter I want to use in my resin. Um, I've chosen this black glitter um, resin that I thought would be really, really nice to have as you know checkerboards are like red and black so I'm like well I'll use black glitter and just choose a different colored glitter um, other than red now this fairy opal I was thinking of using that and then I had this beautiful pink it's um, by recollection I got this from Amazon and I just couldn't make up my mind so um, I, I will you know decide later on I have my spatula and I have my pouring little small pouring tool I love this because it's so cute and can get into those little small spaces my hefty alcohol and I, I have my gloves you got to have your gloves and you have to have your mask okay because you don't want to be inhaling the fumes from the resin you want to protect your lungs and my measuring cups okay um, I'm not sure how much resin I'm going to pour um, I'll decide that and when I come back we will get started all right I've mixed up my resin um, I have my glitter in the cups that I'm going to uh, mix up together so that I can pour. Here's my hefty dot tool. I'm going to be using that um, to spread it out. I don't need my marker anymore. So let's get started. And I think I'm going to pour my black first. My resin is nice and clear. Um, and I'll, also, you know, you use equal parts of your resin. If you have, if you need four ounces altogether, you, you, you will mix two of part A and two ounces of part B. And then you will stir it up real good. And once the cloudiness has left, you will know it's ready. And with my black glitter, I'm going to put some black mica powder over in it because um, it's not this this black glitter is not the type of glitter that absorbs and grabs onto the resin real good to turn it real black so I'm gonna help it out a little bit I remember using this before and I'm thinking to myself why did I not use it again but later on you're gonna see just why I chose not to use this glitter okay so you want to also make sure that you mix it up really 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 good you want to scrape the sides you want to scrape the bottom and you want to um, you know make sure that it has a good consistency uh, with the black mica powder um, that you just put in it and um, you don't want it to be clinging to the sides and you want to make sure that it's mixed up real good you want to make sure your mold is cleaned out with nothing in it to um, usually I will have used some tape to sort of pluck all of that out but I did not this time so just want to let you know that was one of the do's that you should do and I did not do it so now I'm using this popsicle stick and you can see I just popped some of the resin out and it went into one of the squares that I didn't want it to go in so I need to decide, am I going to still use this popsicle stick or am I going to switch out and try to use something that's not going to be popping my resin out, making a mess. I'm using a baby wipe. Baby wipes can be your friend. They are awesome to use. Now I use that baby wipe to wipe that out and somewhere along the line I took some of the gold off. So with that baby wipe and I'm gonna I did just put it back on so I'm going to continue on every other square is going to be black 
every other square is going to be black. So I'm doing all the black. I'm sick of the popsicle stick because that's just not working out for me. So I'm squeezing my cup so that I can drip a very small amount into the squares. And you have to do that with the checkerboard mold because there's really not a lot of height on the uh, sides of these squares. It's very, very low. So you don't want to pour a lot because if you do, it's going to spill over into the square next to it. And then you're going to just have a mess because now you got to, you're going to have to clean it out of it. You don't see like I just did that. I don't want that in there because that's going to be pink. So I need to hurry and get that out. Hopefully I don't touch the sides where I have the gold marker. Now see, when I did the, the checkers before, I did another tutorial on the checkerboard. And when I did that, I used mica powder by brushing it in. And it was pretty easy, a little messy, but not, and not as messy as using the resin. So now I have to um, use my dot tool to uh, try to spread this resin out to cover the square. As you can see, I tried to use the spatula. That didn't work out good for me. But using my dot tool, it did. I don't like using the popsicle stick because it's too big and it's going to make a mess for me. But right now, it's, it's uh, helping to get it to the uh, sides a little bit. I'll use my dot tool to continue to spread it out. I can't use it, the popsicle stick for the whole thing because it's just too big and it's not going to work out. And I've sped this up some so that it doesn't bore you to see me putting this resin in all of these squares, okay? So I'm just going to let you watch and see just what I do with this, okay? And remember one thing also, when you pour your resin, you only have 30 to 35 minute time to work with it. Anytime after that, it's not going to be any good. So when you're uh, working with it, you have to work fast, but not too fast where you start making all kind of uh, messes and, you know, mistakes and errors. I'm not, wor I didn't really work fast because I had to to check to make sure that you know my resin is still smooth but if you notice I just checked that in the cup to make sure that it's not curing because I still have a ways to go with putting the black in my mold so you're going to see what happens when you pour too much resin and you're not ready to use it yet okay So now I've finished putting my resin, my black in the mold, and I'm going to let this uh, sit and cure overnight. I am not going to put my pink in it yet because I want it to cure. And uh, to pop the bubbles, you need to spritz, spritz and spritz the alcohol so that it pops the bubbles, okay? And you make sure that you've covered everything, okay? Make sure you've covered each square so that you don't have any bubbles at all, okay? So now, because I took so long, the resin that I had sitting that I was going to go ahead and do the pink, 
look what happened. It began to cure inside of the cup. Now that was a waste of resin. Had I been thinking I would not have poured and mixed that much resin up, I would have only mixed enough that I would have needed to use for the black squares. So this is what happens when you work slow, it cures. And that's a big mistake. So it was a, oh no, oh no, 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 no. So now I have to wait and um, until tomorrow, I will mix up more resin. Okay, so it's the next day now. And I had to uh, use the marker to um, uh, fix one of the squares that, you know, had lost some of the color. And you see that little dot? When I shook it, some of it went on the, the black. And I couldn't clean it off. I could not clean that off. So now I've decided that I'm not going to um, use the opal in the squares. I am going to use the pink. And as you can see, the black, you can see through that. I'm not happy with that because you can actually see through that because that black glitter did not uh, cling together. It's sort of separated. But I have a solution for that and I'm going to fix it. So I've made several errors, okay, so far. So I got hot pink, this one right here in my cup and I've mixed it with the um, recollection uh, pink also, okay? So I put both of them together and I, that's what I'm going to pour into the other squares. That one, I, did, I was going to use that other one I just showed you, but I decided not to. So right now, I'm going to pour the resin that I have mixed up in there. I'm going to mix this up really, really, really good so that I can start pouring my pink and get it all done. I'm going to use my little small um, silicone little uh, pour pourer because it helps me to um, pour it uh, quicker. Okay, and, and I won't have to worry about uh, my resin starting to cure in that cup. Okay. And one of the things that I should have done, and you'll see that later on as I'm pouring, I should have waited until the resin got a little bit stiffer. It's not stiff enough. It should have, I should have waited about four or five minutes before I begin to put it into the squares. And you'll see why I should have done that as I am putting it in. And this is another segment that I'm speeding it up so that I can get it done so that you don't have to sit and wait forever for me to get that put in. So I do have it on speed so that I will finish. But you can, if you want to, you can fast forward a little bit if you don't want to watch this part. But I really would like for you to so that you can see what happened and how you can or how you cannot fix what happened, okay? Again, why am I showing you the mistakes that I made? Because I don't want you to make the mistakes. It's better that I make it and show you how to fix it or better to show you what not to do um, so that you won't have to fix it, okay? You'll thank me later. I love making these checkerboards. I think they really turn out really pretty. Um, this one, I was talking with my cousin about it, and she was saying how this would have been a nice breast cancer uh, uh, checkerboard with that hot pink. I love using my dot tool because it helps me to spread the um, my resin out really nice without going over the edges into my black 
even though I did not do that, you'll see that it did happen. And as a matter of fact, um, if you look at this really good, you'll see that it's happening already now. Um, something that I did not want to happen. And I guess you're saying, oh my goodness, how is she going to get that gold dot out of that black? Well, I'm not going to get it out. It's going to stay there. And you're not going to be able to see it when it's pro this project is done. And you'll see why. And it's going to be because I found a solution. I thought of a solution, rather, on how it will work. I had to change my whole plan. I had to change my whole plan on how I was going to complete this checkerboard. This pink is very, very pretty. And as you can see on that back row, if you look, some of my pink is spilling over onto the black checker square. Do you see that? This is why I should have waited until it had gotten a little firmer so that it wouldn't run. And that got me so upset because now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, now it's going to show through the black on the front. The pink is going to show. It is absolutely going to show and that is a no-no. And I want to thank you guys for subscribing, commenting, sharing, and liking my videos. If there's anything that you would like for, to see me do, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, let me know that too, if it was helpful for you um, to, um, if, if you're going to make this, okay? I hope it is going to be helpful for you because I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I did. And thank you so much for supporting me and thank you for helping me with my channel now the leftover resin that I have um, in my pink I'm going to pour it in my cube because um, I'm going to if I have leftover resin that's what I do I don't waste it I pour it in the cube and once this cube is filled up it's going to be a beautiful paperweight with all different colors of everything that I've made in it okay it has a ways to go. I'm going to use this Ninja Black when we come back and you'll see. Still not sure what I want to do with that. I don't know if I want to take that around it or not. So I decided not to use that Fairy Dust um, Opal. I chose to use some gold glitter to go around the edge to pop this, okay? And as you can see, if you look real close, you can see that uh, resin has still sp is spilling even more onto the back of the black from the pink. And I didn't like that. I didn't want that, okay? So it meant that my resin as i said before was still too liquidy to put it in and that's why it poured over so i'm putting this goal around because it's going to really pop the sides of it and i think the goal was a better choice um, to use because if you remember i used gold my gold deco marker that's laying there to outline all of the lines around the squares So we're going to speed this up and get this done um, so that we can, um, we still need to pour um, uh, the checkers. I have not mixed up the resin yet to pour the checkers. So when I come back, I'm, I'm going to um, 
make sure that the checkers are done. And again, the lips to this is so low, so you have to really be careful when you're um, going around. I need a little bit more. Um, so I'm just built into my pink. So I'm gonna take that popsicle stick and try to pop it out right away. I'm using a little bit from my cube. I'm gonna borrow some to put back in that because it had a little gold and I can mix that pink up on top of that gold to get rid of it. So now I'm gonna pour with the gold that I have left over um, into my cube because the pink had gotten a little solid. So now I've poured my uh, checkers and I'm gonna let that cure along with the checkerboard. I've checked all around. I went around with my tool and I'm gonna come back with the Ninja Black. It's the blackest mecha powder ever. And we're gonna use that to pour it on the back to fix it. All right, I'm back now and I wanted to just show you that I have let this sit for about three or four hours, okay? About three or four hours, and it's nice and firm, very firm. And um, you see where the, the pink has spilled over from where my hands are, you can see that. And I am going to use um, the black to pour it all over the back of this checkerboard, okay? So when I do that, it's going to correct all that, those spaces in the black checkers so that you won't be able to see through it. It's going to really uh, fix the problem. And hopefully that little gold dot will not come through on the other side once I pour the black in, okay? So we're going to pour this and um, get it ready and let it cure overnight. And again, I'm using the Ninja Black. It is the blackest mecha powder ever, ever seen in my whole life. So don't be afraid to pour um, your uh, backing on the back of your um, checkerboard. Um, again, this is the back side, so nobody will know that you've made all those mistakes and had all of that running into your uh, your black, okay, your black squares. So just pour it, pour it, pour it. You want to make sure your um, your work area is level. Mine was not level. So if you see to your left, you'll see a, that pink spatula. I put it underneath that board so that it will level out and sit real good where it's not going to um, be lopsided. Okay, so you definitely want to make sure it's level. I had a, my husband let me use his little small leveler and I was able to shift it so that it would be um, pretty steady. You want to scrape all of your uh, resin out into um, your mold. And I guess you're wondering, like, what in the world is this going to look like? She's put all that black on top of that pretty checkerboard. But that's okay because it's going to be so beautiful. Now, I'm just going to adjust my little spatula over there to make sure that everything is perfectly leveled and I'm not going to have a lopsided checkerboard and um, I see um, some bubbles you want to make sure that um, you take your alcohol 
and spritz and get rid of all of your bubbles so that it when it cures you don't have all those little holes on the side and you don't have them in the middle of, of your your work okay so it doesn't um, take but a second to spritz it all over because I see bubbles now and I want to make sure that I get them all so that if any come to the surface, the alcohol will pop them as they come up also. Okay, so you make sure you spritz it really, really good. I'm going to take my gloves off because I want to mold those checkers on the side because they are cured. Okay, I want to just remove them because I need to pour another set, okay? I'm checking them to make sure that there's no air bubbles on the side. Sometimes they do come out and they have a little air bubble on the very tip where it looks like resin is missing but it's nothing that you can really do about it because you can't see um, the bubbles underneath when you're um, after you poured it no matter what you do to try to avoid it there's always going to be one or two of your um, checkers to have those little air pockets okay I'm trying to show you one of them that have the air pocket. All right, now I poured the checkers and look at this. This is a mistake. I poured a pink checker over where the black checkers are. You see that? I wasn't paying attention and I'm pointing to it and I made that one pink when it should have been a black so you have to be careful even though I have more checkers than I really need what if I didn't then I'll have to wait and then pour one more checker because I've made a mistake all right it's the next day everything is cured I'm touching it it's ready to be demolded and I am going to demold the checkers first to get them out of the way to check to make sure that maybe this time I uh, didn't get any bubbles or any bubble pockets. I'm trying to show you, they're really pretty pink. This one had a pocket. Look at that on the side, it had a, a bubble pocket. But like I said before, there's really nothing that you can do about it. I really like the pink and the black. It's really nice, it's very pretty. And again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing my video. It helps my channel out. I really, really appreciate your support. And I do hope that you're enjoying these tutorials that I'm posting. So now that we've done that, let us demold the checkerboard. I was so excited to see exactly what it was going to look like. And be honest with you, I, did, I didn't even peep at it. I, I'm doing everything with you, okay? So if any mistakes, we'll see. And you're going to see, let's take a look at the mold. Look at that, ta-da! All of the gold trimmings are gone, okay? Where did they go? Hopefully they clung to, bam, look at that is that beautiful or what so pouring that black on the back changed the pink to a nice little rosy tone it toned it down so that's how i fixed that okay i really do like the colors that it turned out um and i like the round uh around it the gold that's around it i like how that popped 
and let's put these pinks on the black squares and see what it's going to look like we'll pretend that we're going to play checkers with somebody and look at that it really does pop that checkerboard and you and guess what we went outside the box with our colors who says a checkerboard has to be black and red it can be black in any color you want or it could be two different colors it doesn't always have to be black you don't have to use black i don't know why i'm putting this pink on there but we need to get that out right <laughs> and keep it uh, the way it's supposed to be. You can't play checkers like that, okay? So, there you are. I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun doing it, making mistakes, fixing it, making sure it's right, and I hope you get a chance to make it too and tell your friends about it. Look at that. That is so nice. I really, really appreciate you stopping by to watch this. And I hope that you will continue to stop by and watch me do other amazing things. I have some other things planned also. So until we come back again, this is your girl Robin from Robin's Nest saying thank you so much and have a blessed evening, day, or afternoon.